Jason Artiga, and this is another episode of Cinema Macabro. Today's episode will be a review on Eaten Alive, directed by Toby Hooper. In 1977, you had a shitload of horror films that come out. Uh, you had Eraserhead, which technically wasn't a horror film, but was David Lynch's first film released at the theaters. You had The Exorcist 2, The Hills Have Eyes by Wes Craven, The Sentinel, Argento Suspiria, the Car, Kingdom of Spiders, Rabbit, Hausu, the list goes on and on. 1977 was a phenomenal year for horror films. Eaten Alive was a film directed by Toby Hooper, and it was his next project which was offered by Iranian producer Martin Rustin. After the success and instant cult status of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, at one point, he was in the works to work with Exorcist director William Freakin, who was pretty much a big fan of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They were going to work in the project, and it fell through once he was offered Eaten Alive. The film had a cast of both veteran actors like Stuart Whitman, Carolyn Jones from The Addams Family, Mel Ferrer, Neville Brand, and newcomers such as baby-faced Robert England, also known as Freddy Krueger. Marilyn Burns, who was the lead of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Roberta Collins, and Brian De Palma favorite, William Finley. The film was shot in 1977 on a soundstage in California to double as Texas. Compared to the realism of Texas Chainsaw Massacre and its locations, Eaten Alive has a surreal dreamlike quality due to it being shot in indoor sets and its uh, colorful lighting. Once again, Toby Hooper teams up with Wayne Bell to do the soundtrack, which is pretty atmospheric and experimental. The film begins with a naive prostitute, Clara Wood, played by Roberta Collins, refusing to do backdoor sex with the local punk and troublemaker, Buck, played masterfully by a baby-faced Robert England. His opening line was used in Kill Bill. Name's Buck. I'm raring to fuck. Name is Bucks, and I'm here to fuck. <laughs> After Clara survives a near rape, she is thrown out the whorehouse by Madame Miss Hattie, played by Carolyn Jones in her last role. Carolyn Jones was dying of cancer um, in this film, and she passed away after Eaten Alive was uh, made. She was pretty awesome in this last role. Clara, seeking refuge, finds a Starlight Hotel in the swampland outskirts of Texas. The hotel owned by Judd, who's the mentally disturbed after serving in one more two, Neville Brand, who's absolutely amazing in this role, picking up with her luggage, Judd tries to rape Clara, almost escaping, only to get stabbed by Judd with a pitchfork. The dying Clara gets thrown off the railing to be fed by Judd's pet crocodile when he, that he found in the Nile during World War II. After cleaning up the murder scene, a family who needs gas goes to the starlight. The daughter who's crippled with a dog goes too close to the swamp and her dog gets eaten by Judd's alligator or a crocodile. In shock, the parents take her upstairs and the father, played by William Fidley, decides to take his shotgun and kill the crocodile only to get stabbed by Judd in his giant sight. He is still alive but gets too close to the gate only to get, you guessed it, title drop eaten alive after Judd ties up the wife and looks for the daughter who hit him underneath the house he only to be questioned later by Clara's father and sister on her whereabouts 
Judd tries to deter them and by telling them that she worked for Miss Hattie and the father and daughter go back to the starlight. What happens next is very brutal and grisly. Now, I don't want to get too much into the plot of Eaten Alive because it's actually a wonderful film that if you're like the purebred uh, horror aficionado who has seen of all of Toby Hooper's films except this one, believe me, this is a treat. Where Texas Chainsaw deals with real locals and implied violence, which is which almost got its X rating, Eaten Alive pulls no punches with the violence. The killing scenes are bloody, gratuitous, and shocking. Yes, shocking. Toby Hooper works with no expedition dialogue from the script. Everything is on point. The acting is superb by the cast, in particularly with Neville Brand and a seed-stealing Robert England. He's a lovable punk in this film. The whole cast is pretty much on their game, and once again, Marilyn Jones is a screen queen who does her job. Mostly, all the, the characters have this demented quality to them, and sometimes are totally bizarre, like William Finley, who barks like a dog to torment his daughter who's in shock after losing her dog and witnessing uh, Snoopy get eaten by a crocodile. It has amazing scenes, and this film is so surreal from its soundtrack to its lighting. Toby Hooper reportedly walked out off the set after creative differences with the producer in its last week of production. Eaten Alive is so good that I consider it the sibling to Texas Chainsaw Massacre without emulating it. It is an amazing follow-up. Also, the alligator in the film, or crocodile, is well done in this movie. And the kill scenes are truly terrifying and swift. They come out of nowhere. Neville Brand's acting in this film is absolutely amazing. Uh, the guy is a, pretty much a veteran actor from the 50s. And he portrays the character Judd as this lonely guy, this lonely, demented soul who just came back fucked up from the war. And like he, everything from him mumbling his lines to himself to um, just getting excited when his alligator kills a victim is absolutely a treat to watch. It's, it's both horrifying and funny at the same time. Uh, it, it, like the character of Judd is something out of uh, uh, the father in in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is another great actor, and it, the the acting in this film is amazing. So absolutely see this film. I have to say that Eden Alive was overshadowed by the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and it also got bad reviews by critics back in 1977. In my opinion, this film is so well acted that it's loosely based on a serial killer during the Prohibition era who threw his uh, victims, mostly women, in the swamp and let his alligators take care of the remains. Just remember, Texas, Texas is not all about chainsaws. Go see Eat Alive. You can actually see it on Amazon uh, Prime Movies. They actually have it over there in full HD, and the transfer is absolutely amazing to watch. I would say go see this film. So guys, if you have any questions or any comments, please leave so in the comment section below. And please subscribe, people. And with that, I'll see you at the next episode.